Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I trust you are fine. How are you coping with self-isolation? The whole world is in self-isolation now, I guess. I hope you are taking it seriously. Anyway, I shared a message on my Facebook page today, earlier on today, and I was unable to download it for some reason. So I'm going to repeat that message again because my plan was to share it onto YouTube, but it wouldn't download. I'll sort that out later. So I'm having to record this again just for my YouTube channel because I feel the message is quite important. You know, we should adhere to this. So I'll share my screen and we can start. Let me share my screen quickly. Here we go. So this message is from the Bible. If you are familiar with the Bible, then you know the scripture. Isaiah chapter 26. And I'll be reading verse 3. It says, You will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So this is the Bible telling us here that God will keep in perfect peace. He will give us the peace of mind, everyone who trusts in him. So if you are putting your trust in God at this time, God will keep you in perfect peace. Okay, so there's no need to be agitated. There's no need to be anxious. You know, there's no need to be worried. There's no need to be scared. You know, don't allow fear into your life because that's what the virus is. Once you allow fear, it grips you and it cripples you. You're unable to do things, you know, because you are like, oh, is, am I going to get, you're worried if you're going to get it, your family, children, relatives, and things like that. You know, this is just for a period of time. It will definitely cease. The most important thing is to put our trust in God. God is calling us at this time to put our trust solely in him and nothing else solely in him and nothing else don't be afraid you know what you're going to eat and all of that is understandable it's a natural thing to be concerned however when you find yourself getting too worried bring your attention back to the word of god and that's the only way we are going to pull through this and we will definitely pull through this together Let's also read um, verse 20 of the same chapter. It says, as you can see, the heading there says, take refuge from the coming judgment. Okay, and verse 20 here says, come, my people, enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation is past. So you can see here, the Bible clearly says, enter your chambers. That means enter, go into your houses, stay in your homes, shut your doors, stay indoors. There's no need to be out at this point in time. Even the government has said, stay in your houses, don't go to work. You know, it is for a reason. Stay in your homes, keep yourself safe because the more time you spend outside, you know, it's likely you are more likely to get the virus and to spread it to your loved ones and people around you come in contact with. So it's clear here in the Bible, God has given us instructions on how to overcome this. Keep your mind stayed on him. Stay in peace. Be peaceful at this time. Okay. Also hide yourself for a little moment. This is not going to be like an everlasting thing. We're not going to be indoors forever and all of that. It's only for a short time. So let's try to bear with this. In the UK here, some people are still going on the tubes. The tubes are packed. And I'm wondering why. We all need to come to the realization that this is not a joke. Sorry about that. My battery is low. Let me turn the internet thing on. So we all need to make sure our minds are stayed on God at this point in time and nothing else. As some of you already know, I am an empowerment coach. I help women specifically. However, this message is for everyone. Everyone is concerned at the moment. So let's all adhere to this. So I help women understand who they are in Christ. 
you know you understand who you are in god and that that's your identity and you are empowered to become who god has created you to be however this particular message is for everyone it cuts across gender we all need to have peace of mind and trust in god so one of the tools i use is mindfulness so what i do is christian mindfulness i help you bring your thoughts back to where it should be to a peaceful place so if you are struggling at the moment and you can't find yourself um, able to compose yourself and be at peace you can get in touch with me go to my website it's called gloriousglowempowerment.com okay i have sessions on mindfulness i'm happy to take you through a six-week program or an eight-week program on mindfulness to help you become mindful to help you understand how to take each day as it comes and to put you in a peaceful place all right and to enable you overcome whatever comes your way above everything else put your minds on god trust in him and he will see us all through this is a time to stand together as a community check on your friends check on your family check on your brothers your sisters everyone you know don't stay isolated keep connected virtually but trust in god above everything else all right then i hope this has helped in some way i'll be stopping my screen now so do take care and god bless thanks for listening subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so give me thumbs up like and then press the notification bell to keep getting my message is when I post one. Take care and enjoy this time. God bless you. Bye.